Hello everyone, it's Ben from The Chair here to give you a new review today and this is of the film called The Critic Starring Ian McKellen. This is based off a book but loosely by Adrian Quinn called The Curt Anthony Quinn called The Curtain Call. The Curtain Call. I don't know quite what I'm saying is it. Um, this stars Ian McKellen as Jimmy Jimmy Eskrain. Um Gemma Atherton as Nina Land, Mark Strong as David Brooke. Um we have Alfred Enough as um Tom the the um the kind of left hand man of um Jimmy. Um the plot is in the nineteen thirties, Ian McKellen is a well renowned critic at the Daily Chronicle t tabloid newspaper, um run by Viscount David Brooke Markstrong. After the, basically the the far, the bloke d dies in the beginning and then and Mark Strong takes over. Um and uh, yeah. It's um and then and then um basically Nina Land Jim Anderton wants a good review from Jimmy. She never gets one um from him. And um she she's like asking for why and Leslie Manville plays her mum who's like just just sits in the audience one day and says like why don't you give my daughter a good review well I'm a critic dear um Jimmy is is gay and and doesn't really hide the fact of that because of the time period um yeah it's very um and then they he manipulates Mark Strong because because he likes Nina Land, even though she likes somebody called Stephen, who who um is cheating on a wife with Nina, and kind of regrets it. It's like an intertwined, ends up being an intertwined sort of murder mystery, and it's a very good movie. Um, Ian McKellen is brilliant. Um, Alfie enough from Harry Potter as Dean Thomas plays. Tom, like the like the underling theatre critic, um, it's very good, uh, very dark, not <gasps> something that we used to Ian McKellen doing. Um, it's an acquired taste because of the language they use about critics, and the kind of the w big words they use in the review. And Gemma Anderson plays a brilliant um, uh, act performance. Ian McKellen's performance is brilliant. The plot twist at the end, or near the end, is good. Ian McKellen only thinks about himself, and the ending proves that when you get there. Um, if people haven't seen it because it's been out in the cinema for only a week or so, then do find it on, on streaming when it comes available. Um, Mark Strong play, uh, plays a brilliant character. Leslie Manville is good. Um, but it's mainly like a three-hander between Ian McKellen, Tom... Alfie enough, and um, and uh, Jim Anderson's character Neil Land, and and um, Ben Burns as um, Stephen. So it's like a four hander, and it's just and the unraveling of 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 Nina, and then the unraveling of of Jimmy because they want to get rid of the old lag, and he doesn't want to go, so he's like clinging on for dear life. To his job for different reasons and and i i think you know it's, it's a good really good film it's 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 a good film like the critics to the end and i really really like this film it's um it ian mckellen even at his age pulls out a brilliant performance um the twists and turns you don't see coming you see one of them actually um but you don't see the other one coming, not when you expect them to go that far, um, for the sake of one thing. Um, you don't see the ending coming. Um, it's very manipulative, very, very, um, like, what's going to happen next? It's an hour and a half for film, but it, it flows, it flies by. Um, the set dressing is good, the camera work is good, because the camera work, kind of it kind of goes it's kind of work I've not seen before it kind of goes up their face sideways so you kind of get side view but it's so close you can't see the whole face but it kind of glides like that 
uh, and then walk underneath the chin and up. So you get the whole conversation between two characters. But then the way the camera works is doing that. So you slowly reveal the face and what they're thinking um, whilst you're hearing the conversation. I've not seen that shot before. But that was very good. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely buying some Blu-ray when it comes out. Hopefully it'll be out maybe Boxing Day, I think, maybe around there. Maybe we have to wait till January, February because companies seem to have January, February off or January off because of Christmas. So maybe it'll be out, maybe not. But if you like this film, please like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.